Hey there guys, my name is GTA Capone and welcome to the Man Cave. As some of you may already be aware, I made a video almost a year ago of me flying FF6 using a virtual reality headset. In that video, I was using the Leap Motion Controller and a software called Fly Inside. Since that video being made, I have received quite a few messages asking me various questions about how I did that and what was my thoughts on using the Fly Inside software and the Leap Motion Controller. Well, I've decided to do a follow-up video and in this video, I'll be showing you the things you need a basic step-by-step -step guide to setting up and also what my overall opinion is of the Fly Inside software and the Leap Motion controller. In this video, I'll be demonstrating Prepare 3D instead of FSX as I think it looks better. However, the setup is exactly the same. In order to do this, you will need the following. A licensed copy of Prepare 3D installed on a PC that meets the minimum requirements to run the software. An Oculus Rift headset, a Leap Motion controller, the Fly Inside software also installed on your PC, some sticky back Velcro strips and a USB extension lead, preferably 3 meters or more. Okay, firstly, you will need to make sure you have installed your flight simulator, VR headset, and leap motion controller software correctly. Each developer has an installation guide, so you want to make sure that you follow their respective steps to ensure your software and devices are running as they should be. Next, you want to mount the leap motion controller to your VR headset. There is a VR headset developer kit available to purchase online however I have chosen to mount my controller with velcro strips. Cut the velcro strips to the desired length you required, require and stick one piece to your headset and one piece to your motion controller. Then stick the two velcro strips together so that the motion controller is now mounted at the front of your VR headset. Now connect the USB lead provided with the motion controller to the motion controller. Then connect the other end of the USB extension lead. Finally connect that to a free USB port in your PC. Now you are ready to install the Fly Inside software onto your PC. Go to the Fly Inside website by typing Fly Inside into your Google browser and download the relevant software that corresponds to your flight simulator and VR headset. In this video, I'll be downloading the Prepare 3D software for the Oculus Rift. Once the software has been downloaded, install the software, making sure to follow all the instructions carefully. If you have followed all the instructions correctly, then you should be able to load your flight simulator in VR by running the recent installed Fly Inside software. This will load a virtual scenario within your VR headset. You are now able to operate flight simulator menus by using a mouse, keyboard, your VR headset movements and a pair of virtual hands that mimic your real hand movements when you place them in front of your Leap Motion controller. There are several options available within the VR environment for you to customize your sim and VR settings. Once you have done all of this you are, and you are happy, all that's left to do is start flying. So what's it like flying in VR with this equipment? Well, I have positive and negative thoughts about this. I simply love the fact that you are now able to fly in VR. This experience truly gives you a more immersed sensation when flying. As with driving in VR, you naturally move your head to look where you want to see and this heightens the sensation of flying an aircraft. I would definitely say that if you have a PC that is capable of running the software at 90 frames per second or above, then in my opinion, no multi-display multi setup can compare to the VR experience you get whilst flying in VR. That being said, Using the simulator display interfaces is another story. When flying a simplified aircraft, all the essential flight controls can be mapped to a decent hot as flight system. However, if you want to fly an aircraft which requires more inputs available on the flight system, then you will need 
to use a mouse and keyboard also. Using a mouse in VR isn't that bad as it's fairly intuitive. However, trying to find particular keys on a keyboard whilst wearing a HMD is virtually impossible. Another issue when flying with flying side and the leap motion controller is the use of the virtual hands. They are, gr they are a great idea in principle. However, they are just too glitchy to be practical. I don't know whether the problem lies with the motion controller itself or the fly inside software. However, the virtual hands are not accurate enough to truly represent my real hand movements. I found myself constantly frustrated when trying to operate the aircraft controls that in the end, I just gave up. Overall, I would say that if you have a powerful enough PC and you're familiar with your flight simulator, mouse, keyboard and hot ass controls to the point whereby you can operate them without looking, then flying with the, the, these devices is truly an amazing experience. Forget about the virtual hands, they still need a lot of development. Instead, strap on your HMD with the fly inside software and take to the skies. If you are a flight simulator fan, then this experience will truly take you out of this world. My name is GTA Capone, and I'll see you in the next one.